na 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 Not long ago I was an art student at a university majoring in drawing and painting. Proof. Did I make a conscious choice to become an artist? Do I have special qualities that make me creative? A gift? This. I should. Some time passed before art practice made me aware of what I was really doing. There had to be some initial drive that made me want to use shapeless materials and transform them into art pieces. I didn't know they were art pieces then. To me, it was all play, a child. I was almost always immersed in a storm of imagination. They were toys, like tangible evidence of subliminal intensity. They were toys, evidence. Somehow my personal qualities and my creations gave mom and dad the reasons to support my interest in art. I enjoyed learning and excelled in many subjects. But at some point it became clear to me that visual art was my home. But at, but at, but at some point, but at some point, art fixed me back into life, made me exhilarated and obsessively involved. I needed art to be able to cope with increasingly troublesome existence. World where I was previously sheltered by my family's love and care began to expand into reality. Violence, struggle. I'll look at you, I'll look at you. You're crying. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? crying. Oh, what's wrong? It's done? Easily impressed and fragile, I was confronted with revelations. Sexual, sexual, stuff, stuff, gender, identity, sexuality, and suffering. I was seeking refuge and I found it in art. The more of it I made, the better I felt. Every time I drew or painted, I gained something. Pieces, pieces became more complex and it didn't stop at the work table. Art became my special ability. It made me observe, examine, and understand things in surprising new ways. Art opened me up, made me look for my own answers to hard questions. To fill. It was like a blank page for me to fill. Disappointment and hurt, I took it all. I did not fall back on textbook solutions or friendly advices. Nothing worked like a charm for me. I fell again and again. Depression was brooding inside me. I began to self-destruct. It took a clinical death, a tough years of cleaning up and a lot of accepting. Art and I were no longer separate. Art was the only thing familiar and dear. I just needed to hold on to it to save myself. It was my purpose. I was becoming a painter. Engaged in art studies and art practice, I gravitated closer and closer to the source of my creativity. My organized faculties turned into sound practice. I, 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 I now was art. Frozen in the moment, close by comparison to enlightenment. I, my, my, I marveled. Wisdom, beauty, desire. All of a sudden the world caged in on me. I was the world. Any thought had consequences, let alone my actions. 
And did I make a conscious choice to become an artist? Did I make a conscious choice to become an artist? Na, 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 na. There had to be some initial drive. 